Hello everyone and welcome back to Foot FM with West Ham United and what could well be the very last episode in this series. It is Champions League final time. We are taking on Atletico Madrid. We're in the away dressing room at the Amsterdam Arena. It's going to be a massive massive game um, but because this is for FM we have to open what could be our very last pack and after winning the Champions League we now have the last 100k pack hopefully anyway this will be the last time we need to open a 100k pack there are three hazards on the front of these packs so I'm hoping we can pull a hazard out and we get Andre Schürrle that's not a bad one he's in form as well so I don't know if that means I can put his stats up a bit, um, but Scherler's not a bad one to get out. We can take a look at him. João Canseo and Pareo from Valencia, if you've been following the European journeyman save. Uh, Nelson Semedo from the Benfica um, team as well. Munir from the Valencia save. This is just a throwback to our European journeyman series. Um, and Daye, Vestergaard and Zarate are in there. Zila in there as well. Uh, nobody in there that I am bothered about. Scherler is not going to make a difference with Possibly one game left to go. I might bring him in if we don't win this Champions League final. But like when we brought Fred in in the last episode, it nearly destroyed our team. We went on a three-game losing streak. So I don't want to do that in the biggest match of them all. I just want to win. And to try and win this game, we're going to have Berardi, Williams, Firmino up front. Rafinha, Carvalho and Ali in the middle. Alaba, Stones, Tar and Heisage, the back four. To Sturgeon in goal. It's also going to be our live com episode. Um, we're going to get straight into it, to be honest, because I just want to find out what the result is. Having won pretty much nothing up to this point, I think we won the Europa League. We might have won the League Cup in this series. I can't even rem remember. Um, after winning none of the major trophies for the first three seasons well first two seasons at least in our third season we've managed to win the Premier League and FA Cup into this point and we're now in the Champions League final it's a strong Atletico Madrid team they got Romelu Lukaku and Griezmann up top Gaitan on the left Saul in the middle Crane Vitter in there Fernandez in there and that defense Felipe Luis Jimenez Godin and Savage. Savage at right back's not the best decision I'm not sure why Juan Fran isn't playing there um, but they've got Yannick Carrasco on the bench as well Jan Black in goal is going to be difficult to overcome but I am confident if we go out there and put in a good performance I'm not sure what the best I'm not sure what the best thing to say to them is um, let's go with the pundits there we go that's done a good job um, and if we give them the little extra pep talk that might do some good as well um, nothing to the midfielders, maybe the strikers, no, so two, three players not reacting, it is a Champions League final, I'm going to let this cin cinematic run because I never ever do, it is the Amsterdam Arena which I have been to in the past interestingly, uh, it's a beautiful stadium, um, but hopefully it can be as nice for me now by getting us a win, Firmino kicks off to William, now Stones out to Alaba, Rafinha, 100% possession so far, let's keep it like that for the next 90 minutes, Sol gets a foot in, but there's Firmino, out to Alaba in a good position, puts the cross in, oh, it's just missed both of the players in the box, and there is the end of that highlight, um, but Savic is going to send the ball in, now it's Augusto, back to Savic, Deli Alli cuts it out before it reaches Gaitan, he's given it straight to Saul though, now Gaitan to Griezmann, turning the strike, the defender, still Griezmann, tackle by Tar, good tackle there, given straight back to Jimenez though, they're putting us under some pressure here, it's Gaitan running down the left flank, loses it to Heisaj, but straight to Felipe Luiz, there's Gaitan again, back to Luiz, Saul, through to Gaitan. Now Griezmann's in there. He puts it through. Lukaku's got in and Lukaku's hit the woodwork. We have got away with a lucky, lucky escape there early on. And it means that we're still level very early in this game. It's been a very yeah, tense opening 10 minutes or so. Um, looks like Atletico are on top. They've got 60% possession at the moment. We've just had our second shot of the game. Not had one on target yet though. Um... Players all doing reasonably well. Only two on 6.7. Everybody else above that. Um, two shots each. Jonathan Target in a yellow card now. 20 minutes in. Four shots now for Atletico. They are taking control of this game a bit. But Augusto Fernandez has picked up a yellow. High Sash sends the ball in. Wins a header but gives it straight to Jose Jimenez. Now Gaitan. He sends the ball forward to Griezmann. Saul over the top. Lukaku's got in behind. He's in on goal. Lukaku was... 
fired that well over the bar. I think there was deflection actually. It's gone for a corner. And it's going to be Gaitan on the corner. He puts it in towards Saul. Cleared out to Augusto. Now Griezmann out to Gaitan again. Puts a cross in but Stones deals with it. And that should be the end of that highlight hopefully. Alaba still going. There we go. We've still not had a shot though. 25 minutes into the match we've not had a shot on target. That is not ideal. Um, yellow card each at this point. Possession evening out a bit though, which is good to see. It was up at 65%, I think, earlier in this game. Uh, both of our centre-backs now on yellow cards. That is something to watch out for. And we are really just not in this game at all. Finally, we get a couple of shots in and one on target on the half-hour mark. Uh, three of our back line on yellow cards. We are really not doing well in the... Uh, in the tackle department at the moment, there's just not an awful lot happening really. Quite a bitty game of quite a lot of fouls as well. Seven fouls from us, four from Atletico, five now. Firmino getting an offside. Still no highlights, still nil-nil. Atletico had another shot. Inaki Williams offside. We're nearly at half time and it's not good enough. I am going to be quite assertive with the team. They need to be putting in a better shift than this. We normally have so many shots for us to not have... Um, even five shots in the first half is not good enough. There is the half-time whistle. Just going to tell the players that I'm not happy with what's going on. And they all get fired up, ready to go. I'm not going to hang around, not going to mess about with the tactics. I think they just needed a bit of a kick up the arse. Um, and here's Gaitan on the left flank. It does fade to black straight away. Williams offside. Free kick, though. Griezmann to Augusto. Now Griezmann again. Plays it through. Gaitan's in on goal. He's hit the post. It's the second time it let it go. We've hit the post. They deserve to be ahead on that evidence. Lukaku hitting the post as well earlier. We are living by the skin of our teeth. Some of our players really not playing well at all. Especially the strikers. I'm going to have to make a change up top. It's going to be Firmino coming off. He's not that fit. I'm going to give Gabriel Hayes this game. He's done well when he's come on recently. So I'm hoping he can change the game a bit for us. Rafinha may be looking a bit tired in midfield can come off soon. Um, I think that might be the first substitution. To Sturgeon's kicking the ball out though. The number of shots in this game are going up quite a bit. Both teams going for it now. It's Crane Vitter on the ball. Plays it over to Augusto. In behind. Stones wins the header. But it's come to Raul Jimenez I think. He puts the cross in and Griezmann has scored. Antoine Griezmann makes it 1-0. We have fallen behind. It's his 35th goal of the season. And it's a deserved goal, to be fair. Alaba now injured. That's not what we need. Bernat can come on, though. Alaba not having a great game, to be fair. He's been really poor the last few games, Alaba. I wasn't sure whether to start him, but Bernat's just not played enough. And Alaba is a great player, but he's just not been there recently. Now it's Heisage with the throw. In towards Hazus, who's still got it. He finds Williams, and Williams has done it. Inaki Williams, his 50th. Goal of the season makes it one all. We are still in this Champions League final with about 20 minutes left to play. What more can we do? I'm not going to make any more changes yet. I'm conscious that it could go to extra time. I don't want to change the style of play either. 10 minutes left. Jimenez with an effort. Well caught by Testergen there. That came out of nowhere. The highlight jumped straight in on the shot. Which makes me think there's still something to happen. Testergen forward to Berardi. It comes to Williams. He beats two defenders. He's in on goal but he's put it wide. Williams, you're better than that. You've scored 50 goals this season. You just need one more today. Oh, what is happening? Just going to leave things as they are at the moment. I'm not looking to make another substitution just in case somebody gets injured in extra time. It's the 90th minute. We've got a corner. Rafinha into the middle. It's cleared away. And Griezmann's the one picking it up. They've got two players to his left. This is dangerous. He puts it over. Carrasco's got it. He's into the area. Carrasco's hit the post. It's the third time they've hit the post. The ball in still. Cleared away just about. We are living on the edge at the moment. And it's finished. It's one all at full time. I am really not happy with the team. And I'm going to tell them that. They should have won this game already as far as I'm concerned. I know that Atletico have been the better team. Now, do I make a change now? Who can I even bring on? I think it needs to be Ward-Prowse who comes on for Rafinha, who's getting a bit knackered. It's a midfield area that we need to improve. We've not got the best ratings there other than Deli Alley. So that's going to be the change. I'm still not going to change anything else about the team. That is all that is going to happen for now. But it's Gabriel Hayes on the ball. 
straight from kickoff, finding high size in a good position. Can he get the ball in? He does. It's come to Hazers, who's not controlled it. But Williams there. Oh, we've done it. The 91st minute, 24 seconds into extra time. We've caught Atletico napping, and it's William Carvalho, of all people, who has made it 2-1 in extra time. We have turned Atletico over, and we could be about to win the Champions League. This is incredible. Oblak sends the ball forward. Now Williams. What could he do with it? He finds Deli Alley. It's Gabriel Hazers back to Ward Prowse. Out wide to Heisaj. He pulls it across to Ward Prowse. Finds Hazers. Oh, Crane Vetter breaks it up. Now William Carvalho. Forward to Ward Prowse. Into Williams. Berardi. The football is looking brilliant from our team now. Hazers through to Williams. Saved by Oblak. Berardi arriving. Has headed it into the open goal. Oblak nearly got across to stop it. But didn't get close enough. And it's 3-1. Three minutes into extra time. We have really turned on the style. and Hit Atletico hard. That substitution I think has really made a difference. Giving the team a bit more energy than Atletico had. And we are really in control of this Champions League final now nearing the half time mark Bernat to Berardi now Deli Alli to Williams through to Jesus he sends it over to Williams it goes for goal and he's found the bottom corner it's just like what Real Madrid did to Atletico a few seasons ago in the Champions League final they must have been so glad to avoid Real Madrid this time getting West Ham of all teams but it's not worked out now Ward Prowse to the back stick cleared away Oh, we are almost certainly won this now. After such a tense 90 minutes, we've blown them apart in just 15 minutes of extra time. Here's Berardi. It's, oh, it's going to get worse for Atletico. Godin's gone in. He's already on a yellow. He's going to get a second, and they're going to have to play the second half of extra time with 10 men. How demotivating must that be for them? That's going to be the hardest 15 minutes they've ever played. Berardi into the box, finds Tar, headed away, and that... It's a chance to breathe. It is half time in extra time, pretty much. It's still going the game. There we go. Oh, it is 4 1. We are thoroughly in control. I'm going to stay on attacking given they're down on 10 men. I don't want to give them a moment's chance. I don't want to sit back and let them come at us. I just want to keep hammering away. I'm still not convinced 4 1's enough at this point. They could get three goals in 10 minutes. But we are so close to the end of our last match. In Foot FM, such a long running series. I think five months it's been going. Griezmann's in behind though. He's in on goal as well. Griezmann blocked out by the defence. Tar getting in the way. Corner for Atletico. Five minutes to go. They need three goals still. Keiko puts it in. Cleared out. Hazus running it down. Picks it up. And then has given it away. Deli Alley with a tackle. But that should be the end of that highlight. There we go. Just a few minutes left and we will complete our objectives in Foot FM. This is incredible that we've managed to win these competitions. I actually think losing those three games at the end of the Premier League season really helped us out. The full-time whistle is going to go any moment. Deli Alley to Williams. Is there another goal? Deli Alley over the bar. But the referee any second now has blown the whistle. We've done it. We've won the Champions League. What a dramatic Way to do it. It was so tense after 90 minutes. But we've managed to go out there and get three goals in the first half of extra time to win the Champions League against Atletico Madrid. There it is. We've won the treble, the Premier League, the FA Cup, the Champions League, all in the same season. I mean, we've got, we've got a squad that we really should be doing that with anyway. But that is still absolutely fantastic that we've managed to do it this season we were given five seasons to try and achieve this objective we've managed to do it in three which I'm very happy with the squad is very very strong there's no doubt about that you've got the likes of Tostergan and Donnarumma as his backup Donnarumma as a backup is crazy High Saj and Yedvai two great prospects John Stones has been there pretty much since the beginning as has Bartra Jonathan Tarr as well another great youth prospect Eric Dyer has been a solid rock for us and David Alaba the same as well Ride of Old came in wasn't that involved Reese Oxford as well um, been with us since the start because he was un in the under 21s I think which is how we managed to save his position in the club De Siglio the right back getting a bit of game time Bernat 
a very good player that we got in earlier this season. William Carvalho, also another player who's been a rock. He's been with us quite some time, I think. Yeah, he's been with us three seasons since packing him in the first season. He's had a great last couple of seasons, not been playing that much. D. Elements never really got to play. Fred, the last player that we packed. Inaki Williams as well. What a player he was. We brought him in. I think we got him on a free as well. We brought him in on a free. Um, and then... After a really poor first season where he only got five goals in 16 games, he came in after we sold Marshall and Origi, and he scored 51 goals in 50 games this season. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Rafinha is another player who's been with us for quite some time, joined us middle of last season on a as a packed player. Um, Thomas Lamar never really got into the team. Ward Prowse, another player who never quite broke in. Deli Alley, though, he was one of the first players we packed, I think. We brought him in in the first season. Towards the end, it seems, we brought him in. But he had two incredible seasons this season, especially being one of the main engines in midfield. Hazus never really got too many chances. Berardi didn't get too many chances. Firmino was a bit of a controversial signing at the time because obviously we let Origi and Martial go and we brought in Firmino, which was maybe not necessarily the right thing to do but he still got 22 goals and 23 assists for us playing as a striker which is very very good uh, given that he wasn't a pack player he was someone we somebody we signed Rashford never really hit his potential I think he's only 21 years old and we had so many great strikers he never really got in the team and then you've got a 200 million pound man Paolo Dybala he came in 200 million pounds managed to get 10 goals and 13 assists in 24 games so involved in 23 goals in 24 games I would say he was worth the money he wasn't always there for us we still relied on Inaki Williams for the goals but it was a very very solid squad that we had to the end and I think if we'd kept Origi and Martial two of the best players in the game at this point um, because they both had seasons where they hit about 50 goals for us we could have been in an even better position we also had um, it's important to remember we had who did we have? It was, um, oh, I've forgotten his name. We also had Luciano Vieto. I don't know why I forgot his name, given what he did for us. He moved to Dortmund for up to £55 million. He wasn't actually that good a player. It was more our tactic that got the best out of him. Um, he scored 56 goals in 56 games, or 57 games in our first season. 15 and 27 the next, before we moved to Dortmund, where he barely played for them. That's a funny thing. They paid £47 million for him, and he barely played. Um... But he was another top player. Um, who else did we let go over the course of the season? Kevin Campbell, he was there from the start. Pato was another great one. Bayer was a great one. Bernard didn't really play, but we made some money off him. There's been so many great players in this series. There really has. Um, some of the players we bought in on a free, like Marshall. What a player he turned out to be. He's got such an incredible goal-scoring record. 39 goals this season. He got... Um, 28 and 44 for us as well um, he was very very good and Origi where is Divock Origi um, who left the club he must have left the season before or was it this season that he left it was I think this season um, he left for up to 66 million pounds to Man United again not that great a player he's another one who benefited from our formation um, but he got 18 in 40 games for United after getting 36 and 39 for in 49 for us um, our strikers were next level this season it's all to do with the tactics that we played um, but we've had an incredible journey. We've managed to come all the way through and win the Champions League, the FA Cup, the Premier League as well. And if we look at our first season, we started off reasonably well, actually, before this huge rough patch where we weren't sure if we were going to keep our job. Then we had a great run of form with the Europa League helping out. We put together a good run, got right up and won the Europa League final, which was pretty special. Um, the season after that, not an awful lot happened. If we have a quick look through, um, we managed to make the FA Cup quarterfinals, but otherwise it was a pretty boring uh, season. It was a building season to what happened this season, where we had just a fantastic run of form, especially this period from the middle of December right up to the middle of March, a three-month period where we won all but three games and didn't lose a single one. Um, towards the end, we did struggle a little bit. These three games had me absolutely bricking it. But we managed to turn it around, win the last three games of the season. And it means that for FM has come to an end. Um, only the third se series I ever started on this channel. And it's now all finished. Um, 
so I'm not really sure what to say. Uh, there's not any plan to have another second series at the moment. It does take a lot of work running two series at the same time with all the Football Manager experiments as well. So I might put out a couple of extra Football Manager experiments a week uh, to keep you guys uh, fed until I decide what I want to do about the next series. Um, but drop a like on this video for the for the treble, for the series, for the last episode. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see what we get up to next. But until next time, see ya!